Hello everyone, apropos of my previous video about the tea ceremony, sorry for the guys in the background, um, I had a few questions about the tea ceremony. I thought I would answer some of them by just explaining what it is that I'm using over here. The materials in front of me you see are mostly, well, they're the majority of what you'll be using in a tea ceremony. Unfortunately, I don't have all of the materials necessary to make a full-on tea ceremony like the kettle, etc. But from this, I hope you can get a general idea of what it is that we use. In front of me, you'll see several items. There is this purse thing, the contents of which I will explain shortly. But I would like to start with these items over here. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing that we're going to be looking at is this, the chucking. The chucking is, in this case, a cotton cloth. Usually it's made out of hemp, though. The chakin is used in the cleaning process of the chawan. The chawan is the bowl in which you drink tea. Usually you'll use one tea bowl several times in a session, and thus it is quite necessary to clean the thing out. Um, hopefully I can demonstrate for you here some of the cleaning process. You'll notice, if you can, that the cloth itself starts off damp and we sort of leave it on top of the lid of the kettle whenever we're not using it. However, I don't presently have that lid, so I will just be leaving it on top of the chawan. Next, I have the chashaku. The chashaku is the spoon that we use to take out the matcha from the natsume. This spoon, or ladle as the shaku would imply, is made out of bamboo and it's very smooth on the one side. It's used again also to mix out the matcha after we've put it into the chawan. It's a rather necessary step in the process of preparing the matcha because if we don't do that the matcha doesn't bubble properly and I find that mixing is rather difficult. Next in the process is the cha sen. The cha sen is basically a bamboo whisk that we use to mix up the matcha after it's been put into the bowl and after water has been added of course. You'll be able to notice there's the rim of the bamboo plant over here on the handle and it's all held together by this string. It's actually quite a fun little item to use and uh, part of the process in cleaning this, in fact, involves checking that it is made out of real bamboo. Next we have the natsume. The natsume is the tea container. Part of the cleaning process involves giving this a good rub down. Inside there is matcha and in this case you'll see that the matcha that I have is not of very good quality. It's, uh, I would say, student grade matcha. There's no such thing as student grade matcha, but basically that's what it amounts to. Uh, it's quite expensive. This for 40 grams cost me about two, two and a half thousand yen, so about $25. Uh, not the cheapest stuff to buy, but I find it to be quite delicious, so there you go. It's actually got a very nice sound to it when you close it off and when you generally manipulate it, the wooden sound is, is very pleasant and relaxing. Finally, let me move over these things. We have the chawan. Perhaps the main part of the entire experience. The chawan is the tea bowl from which you will be drinking. Most of these are of clay design, but I have seen a few that are wooden and some that are, gosh, what's, what's the material called? Uh, ceramic and ceramics and, 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 and porcelain. Those ones, however, are rather uncommon. The person who made the modern, well, I say modern, who made the Japanese version of the tea ceremony, Senor Riku, was quite fascinated and sort of really into a rather minimalist aesthetic, a rustic aesthetic really. And he commissioned a man called Raku to produce these clay bowls. 
Sometimes he would specifically ask Raku to produce them in a manner that made them seem like roofing tile shards or, you know, random debris that you might find lying around a city. Um, as a result, part of that aesthetic has been maintained over the centuries. However, the later Raku family children have altered the aesthetic quite significantly to the point that the their particular family, in my opinion, no longer produces chawan that you can drink from, from which you can drink. Ugh, terrible English. However, they are still works of art in and of themselves. I do highly recommend taking a look at them. So, without further ado, next we're going to take a look at this little purse. Inside the purse, I keep my hukusa. The hukusa is the primary silk fabric that a server or one of the conductors of the tea ceremony will be using to clean various materials in the tea ceremony. Specifically, they clean the chasaku and the natsume using this bit of fabric. You can see on the side here, perhaps the light is not all that great, but if you look very carefully, you can see some of the matcha debris that has collected on my fukusa. The fukusa is actually folded in a very particular way that I'm going to try to demonstrate, but I don't know if the video will catch it that easily. Finally, we have the setsume. This is the fan that is used during the tea ceremony. This is what most guests bring in. In fact, this particular fan was given to me by one of the students with whom I uh, share a lesson. I gave him a pair of socks that he needed at that time and kind of didn't have on hand. And he gave this as a gift. The sock story is a bit silly, but basically you need to wear white socks during the tea ceremony and he didn't have any on hand and I had just bought some from a convenience store, so... Hmm. The fan itself is actually quite pretty. It will have nothing on the one side and usually writing or some kind of image on the other. In this case, this fan I think is for women, judging by the size and length. The men's fan is usually a little bit longer. If we take a look at the men's fan, you'll notice over here, wherever it may be, uh, hiding at the bottom, it is significantly larger. Although mine is less, well, less pretty, less golden than the one which I was given. So, with that very short explanation, I hope you understand a little bit more about this. I'll be open to any questions that you have, and if you would like to see more of these types of videos, which are not part of the main attraction for the channel, but nevertheless some people do find them interesting, do let me know. Especially let me know as to what you would like to see, because I could talk about this for hours. So, otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.